Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Gluten Free Learning. And this is going to be the second tutorial, part A. We're going to talk about building an actual model in our model space. And we're going to look at just how we define nodes, define members. And in this tutorial specifically, we're just going to be doing a spring system. Eventually, we're going to be looking at doing beams, frames, mesh, uh, trusses, all that fun stuff. But for now, we're going to start by doing a spring system. All right, so here we are at the user interface home screen of your S-Frame software. Um, so just to clarify, joints and nodes are, if you're taking like a finite element methods course or a structural analysis course, they'll be like the endpoints. If you have a fixed support or any type of support your beam or your truss or any member is going to land on, that's going to where you're going to start a node. And also you can create a node where there's any change of geometry or, or, what, what, or what have you, right? So let's keep it basic right now and just deal with one member. We're going to have two endpoints. So we want to create joints at or nodes at uh, both endpoints. So if we look over to the left hand side at our modeling tools, remember we're selected in geometry of your Windows shortcut bar from the last video. Select your joint tool, third from the top. If you highlight it, it'll say joint tool, a little circle looks like an eyeball. And now we want to have that selected and we want to create a joint. Let's put it at the origin. So if you look up top at our data bar, X coordinate zero, Y coordinate zero, notice that the units are in meters and if you wanted to change that I'll show you how to do that later but for now let's just keep it at zero zero and at meters so press OK and just uh, keep an eye on the center here at the origin and you'll notice if I press OK BAM we got our node number one you can see a little one just underneath the node and just to keep in mind if you want to turn that off go down to the bottom here at the status bar and it says display joint numbers click it it's gone click it it's there again right so I'll have them display just for simplicity and move it to the left and how I did that I selected my uh, my wheel I pressed down on my wheel and then that'll allow you to kind of move your model around and the wheel scrolling zooms in and zooms out pretty standard so let's create our second node or our second joint we want to have a five meter spring or a five meter beam or a five meter something so we want to create number two it's going to be X coordinate throw it a five five meters y coordinate zero because we want to keep it just in the x translation direction press ok again boom number two node done now we've created two nodes keep in mind this numbering system will stay consistent throughout you'll have one two three four nodes all in a row if you keep creating new nodes actually let's just do that right now we got some extra time so we'll, we want to create another one at uh, say 2.5 and we got a third node okay and notice how it did keep its third number even though it is between number one and two. So keep that in mind, wherever you put your nodes, it's always gonna remain the same constant numerical system. Now say if you wanna modify any of these nodes, like with their name or whatever, you gotta have the joint tool selected. 